reviews on the movie Danger One. I'm the anger guy, and I will tell you like it is. The director for the film Danger One was Tom Usch. This is Tom's first feature film. He grew up in Rebstein, a small rural town in Switzerland. After his mother had taken him to see Jurassic Park at the local movie theater, he decided that he wanted to make a film himself. That, after high school, he decided to relocate to Los Angeles in 2000 to pursue filmmaking professionally. The cast in the film Danger One was Tom Everett Scott, James Durda, Angelique Salia, Dennis O'Hara, and Damien Daub. The film is about two paramedics and a fireman bringing a dying man to a hospital. A paramedic and a fireman in the back of the ambulance cut the fading man's trousers and found a million dollars in cash sewn into his pants. While traveling to the hospital, the man dies. The two out of three of them decide to keep the money. Mm. But eventually all three decide to keep the cash. By making this one choice, it sets a nightmare of domino effect of other bad choices and the night turns into total chaos and bloodshed. The audience will get some degree of comedy and plenty of blood while watching this action comedy. Me personally, after the first killing, I would have went home to my wife and kids. One thing puzzled me though about the money. If the head ice guy was involved legitimately, wouldn't the serial numbers from each bill be written down somewhere? I give the director Tom Ush credit for trying to create an action comedy for his first feature film. It's a hard endeavor. Because a director doesn't want to do stupid pratfalls throughout the movie, or some directors are so smart their humor is not funny at all. Perfect example. The comedian Dennis Miller. He's an American talk show host, political commentator, sports commentator, and an actor. But most of his jokes flew over the audience's heads. The best have tried to create an action comedy film with great actors and have failed. Example of some of the movies. The Men Who Stare at Goats. Burning After Reading. Oh, brother, where art thou? The informant, stuck on you, snatch, and the worst I think was Suburbicon, which was directed and the main character were both great actors. For me, I paid three dollars and ninety nine cents, and I made myself sit through this movie. If I paid ninety nine cents, I would have thought I got a deal. I imagine most teenagers would give this film a high score. For me, the director didn't force the jokes, which was a good thing, and he tried his best. And me knowing this is his first film and his lifelong dream, I would have gave him a seven. But if the film ended inside the garage and not tried to wrap everything up neatly, my score would have been higher. I did laugh out loud once when the guy flew out of the back of the ambulance. Like I said at the beginning, I will tell you like it is. Out of 10, I give this film a 5. My hope is Tom Oosh will stick with his dreams because seen, I seen something in the way he directed this film. He went for it and that in itself is a great characteristic to have. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.